Hi Felix, I'm Nick Stam, I'm Technical Marketing Director at NVIDIA and I work with the analysts and the press and my team writes the white papers and all the lovely reviewer guides that you guys get and I'm here to tell you today, talk to you today about Tegra 4, our Tegra 4 family of processors. Uh, we have the Tegra 4 which we talked about at CES quite extensively and also just recently we announced the Tegra 4i. Um, the Tegra 4 is a uh, quad core A15s. This is a depiction uh, of the uh, of the chip, and also a power saver fifth core, which is also an A15 that's synthesized a little bit differently for low power and low leakage. And using uh, the, they, they, we switch between seamlessly switch between the four main cores and the power saver core, depending on the workload. And we can actually power on and off the individual uh, main cores, depending on the workload. So if you only need one main core or two or three or four, depending on what you're doing. Uh, we can handle that situation. Um, games, of course, will, will tend to use a lot of the horsepower. They're probably one of the more, most voracious uh, you know, apps that utilize uh, all the horsepower. We have 72 uh, graphics cores. Now that compares to 12 on Tegra 3. So it's six times the number of shader horsepower with Tegra 4 versus Tegra 3. And we also run the GPU at a higher clock rate, so it's really more than 6x effective shader power. So you're going to see a lot of cool effects implemented in Tegra 4 uh, games, games that are optimized for Tegra 4. So we've got some at the show downstairs you can check out, uh, and, and a lot will be coming out this year, so we're really excited about that. And we're super excited to say about Tegra 4i, which integrates the LTE uh, modem that NVIDIA has with our iSERA acquisition from a few years ago. We now have the new i500 um, LTE chip, that can now be integrated into the same die as the Tegra, the Tegra 4i in this case, which was called Gray, which uh, we talked about in the past, but it's now coming and we should see uh, devices with Tegra 4i coming in the fourth quarter of this year, okay? Takes a bit for phones to get built and qualified and all of that. So um, this will allow us to be in markets that are more mainstream and have different form factors for phones, lower cost, as well as being the most powerful uh, uh, smartphones. And right now there's really uh, no, we don't see much competition uh, this year in terms of overall horsepower. Uh, some of our competitors have claimed they're better, blah, 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 but recent um, testing by a number of sites are, is showing that our performance on the benchmarks across the broad range of benchmarks uh, are better than the current uh, product that's in the market by the competitor, S600, I'll just name it, and also um, the projections uh, versus S800 look to be really, really good for us. So it'll be, it'll be fun to see that develop this year, but um, yep, Tegra 4 uh, is coming and it's going to come on strong and we're looking forward to all the products that are going to be coming out this year starting in uh, Q2 with Tegra 4.